Hello Abacus users, what's up? In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to plot stress strain curve from Abacus. Since you know, any model will has its own stress strain curve, whether it be in a metal, polymer, anything. So and here we have a specimen. I would like to demonstrate to you how you can drive the strain stress curve. So in order to do that, I'm gonna to have to show the whole process of having uh, this uh, particular curve generated. Okay, as you already know, guys, in order to have a stress strain curve, you're gonna to need to have uh, certain elements or certain information for the fact. As you know, the input regarding the abacus itself is not given, so we have to purposefully use the available information to drive those informations. So uh, regarding the elasticity, right now we have a polymer with the Young modulus of this amount and Poisson ratio of that, and also a plasticity uh, with these data. So we have a yield of stress with the true strain uh, amount uh, calling these. So, so you have to have an understanding of where these uh, data from driven from and it is obviously the hard part. But the easy part is you have to ha add this all together into one place. So in order to do this, you're gonna have to uh, create an assembly and then go to the step. Right now we, uh, we have a static general simulation running this. In order to get uh, more information on our curve, we're going with the fixed and uh, the number of increments of 100 and the increment size of uh, 0 0.01. Clicking OK. And uh, in order to have uh, some sort of uh, simulation uh, stretching this uh, piece of specimen, we have uh, encastered this uh, area right there. So uh, initially it is encastered and then the step number one is also propagated. The next one we have uh, this load as a pressure. So it's, it's stretching basically the specimen. And then we go into the mesh, meshing the part. And then later on, we simulate that. And once simulated, we will see the results using visualization. So this uh, specimen is already stretching, as you already can see. In order to achieve uh, the data available right there, uh, for instance, I'm going to use the X and Y data that I'm going to look for. So what I'm particularly look for in the strain stress curve, obviously, uh, is the data given uh, from uh, a certain specimen. And uh, that is has to do with the one I clicking here. Let's say that one. And then uh, click done. And then the variables that I'm looking for is the strain in the one direction, which is X direction, E11. And I'll also need the stress in that direction. So I click S11 and I click uh, save as. So two information uh, has been driven. One is the strain and the other one is the stress. So you can either rename it, say uh, strain. And the other one, we call it stress. And in order to plot this strain stress curve, you're going to hit this uh, create a XY data and this time operating on XY data, continue. Uh, the formulation or the, uh, for, for that plotting uh, of a two series of data is already uh, by default created at combined function. So you click on this, uh, this option appears right there. Uh, so I need the strain as an X axis and a stress as a y-axis. And then I hit a plot expression. Boom. You got what you're looking for. As you can see, a stress to strain curve is already there. And uh, it's, it's really easy to have this stress strain. It's not much more clear than that, I have to say. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure to reach out to us. And until next time.